हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस आई एम गुरमीत सिंह एंड ऑल्सो वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द प्रोबेबिलिटी सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल टेक डाउन द प्लेइंग कार्ड्स एंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर वी हैव प्रिपेयर दिस स्पेशल लेक्चर बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट फेस डिफिकल्टी इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कार्ड्स एंड ऑल्सो लिंकिंग द कार्ड्स विद द प्रोबेबिलिटी द प्लेइंग कार्ड्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट it is also part of the permutation and combination so you should know all about the card it will really help you a lot in the future and also the future competitive exam so without taking any further time let's take down the playing cards here it is so let's start with the basics of the card so a set of card is consists of total 52 cards these 52 cards are divided into basically four set or we can say there are total four symbols in the cards the first it is known as diamond this symbol denote the diamond this symbol denote the club this symbol denote the spade this symbol denote the heart so basically there are four type of symbols or there are four type of cards in a total set of 52 card that is diamond club spade and heart and all these cards are 13 in number that is diamonds are 13 cards There are thirteen club cards, and there are thirteen spade cards, and there are thirteen heart card. Further, the color of diamond is red, the color of club is black, the color of spade is black, and the color of heart is red. So we are having diamond and heart as red in color, and club and spade as black in color. So if I ask you how many red colored cards are there? so the answer will be there will be total 13 diamond red card and there will be total 13 heart red card so in totality there will be 26 red cards and also there will be 26 black card that is 13 club card and 13 spade card got it 26 black card and 26 red cards that is 13 diamond 13 club 13 spade and 13 heart moving further if we talk about individual this 13 card these 13 card are similar in all these four set so firstly let's discuss what are these 13 card in this 13 card the first card is known as ace this is the ace card after that there are total 9 number card the card range from the number 2 to number 10 so basically among this 13 card there are total 9 number card that is from number 2 to number 10 further there are total three face card which are jack queen and king so in the set of 13 cards there are three face card and nine number card and one ace card got it if you add all this card it will form total 13 card these set of 13 cards will repeat in the club and also in the spade and also in the heart so basically we are having set of these 13 card in all the four categories that is if we add all this card it will end up to 52 cards got it further if i ask you a question how many ace cards are there so the answer will be there will be total four ace cards one in diamond one in club one in spade and one in heart and if i ask you how many kings will be there there will be total four kings further the question is how many face cards are there in the total set so there will be total 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is total 12 face card will be there okay so you have understood the concept of the card let's take a question on the probability and related to this card to show the implementation of the concept this question is ncert example number 4 and we have slightly modified the question too we have added one extra part the question is one card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards calculate the probability that the card will it is having three part first part b and ace second part ace of red color third not b and is firstly we will observe the question that is our rule number 1 a well shuffled deck of 52 cards is given 
and one card is drawn at random from this well shuffled 52 pack of cards and we have to calculate the probability of three different scenarios. So let's take the case number one. That is we have to find the probability that the taken out card is an ace. So let's use the formula of the probability. As usual we will start with the denominator. In the denominator let's see what are the possible outcome, the total outcomes. We are having total 52 card. So these total 52 cards will come in the denominator. That is the possible outcome. We are having 52 cards. So 52 will come in the denominator. Let's go to the numerator. In the first case, we have to find the probability of an ace card. So what are the favorable cases? In the set of 52 card, we are having total four ace card. The favorable cases will be these four ace card. So these four ace card will come in the numerator. So we got four in the numerator and total 52 in the denominator. On solving, we got our answer as one by 30. Okay, got it. Let's move to the second part. Ace of red color. In this part, we have to find the probability of ace of red color. The denominator will remain the same that is 52 cards only the numerator will change. And in the numerator what is the favorable outcome? The favorable outcome are ace of red color. In the theory we have seen that we are having total 4 ace card. And 2 ace cards are black and 2 ace cards are red. And we have to find the probability of only 2 ace card which are red. So in the numerator only two ace card will come which are red in color. So we got two in the numerator. So we got two by 52 as a probability which on solving is one by 26. So we have solved the part two. Let's go to the part three of the question. Not be an ace means we have to find the probability of not be an ace card. We have taken one card at random from the pack of 52 card and we have to find the probability that the taken out card is not an ace. It means that the favorable outcome will be all these card because all these cards are not ace. So all this card will come in the numerator. We are having total 52 card and four ace card. So these card will be 52 minus 4 that is total 48 cards. So we got 48 in the numerator and 52 in the denominator. We got our answer as 12 by 13. So we got the answer but we can also approach this question through alternate way. Let's see what is the alternate way. In the previous lecture, the theory lecture, we have seen an observation of the probability that is PE plus PE bar is equal to 1. It means that the probability of happening of the event plus the probability of not happening of the event is equal to 1. So can we rewrite this equation as the probability of getting an ace plus probability of not getting an ace is equal to 1? Yes, we can replace the term E that is the event with getting an ace. And we have already calculated the probability of getting an ace in the first part as 1 by 13. So we can use this outcome in our equation and we can solve this equation. And on solving we got our answer as 12 by 13. So our answer is matching so we can use any of the way. But we should know each way because in the middle of the exam, these type of concepts are very helpful to solve the tough questions. So you should know each and every way. So students, that's it for this lecture. We have covered all the NCRT example questions. From the next lecture onward, we will take down exercise 15.1, which we have divided into three lectures. The link to all the video of the probability series is given in the description. Hope you are enjoying our unique way of teaching using animation and the graphics tools. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much. Bye for now and have a great day. Bye bye.